A large portion of the time spent on a service product is wasteful. They are filled with non-value-added activities. Reports are created and sent from one department to the next where they sit on a desk until they are read. Innumerable emails are sent which sit in inboxes until they are accessed. Sales orders sit in databases until they are sent to the factory floor for production. Work spends as much as 90% of its time waiting between steps. According to the Pareto Principle, 80% of this delay is caused by less than 20% of the actual activities. Many jobs in service organizations share characteristics that make them prime candidates for Lean Six Sigma improvements. For example, consider the kind of waste and time delays caused by common situations such as chasing down information, redundant decision cycles, constant interruptions, completing work in batches, and of course, tasks getting lost along the way. In Lean and Six Sigma, these are the first areas we focus on. Information is to service organizations as material is to manufacturing. If information is difficult to find or non-existent, process is slow or stop completely. For example, to answer customer queries, call center operators access technical manuals and databases and contact other operators for information. This often adds wait time for the customer. Think about it. How many times have you reached an agent at a call center and were asked to hold for a few minutes while they look at what options are available for you? From the operational level to the strategic level, there are too many decision cycles. For example, a financial institution requires four levels of approval on any personal loan over $10,000. While this approval process ensures everyone is informed, it adds a great deal of wait time to the process. This is the epitome of the TPS report's argument from the movie Office Space, where the main character is visited by multiple levels of management, each one of them reminding him about his TPS reports. Telephones, email, instant messaging capability, and questions from peers and customers. All of these interruptions can have a profound effect on workers' productivity. For example, information workers such as actuaries send and receive an average of 204 emails per day and experience an average of six interruptions per hour in a typical workday. These interruptions add to the employee's non-productive time and of course cost an organization money. Working in batches means that workers must accumulate a group of items before they can start working. For example, Insurance company data entry specialists must wait until they have a batch of 40 policy forms from a pre-approval process before entering them into the system. In Lean, we try to implement a pull process wherein production processes are initiated by a request. Batch processing is wasteful in this concept because it is, in all simplicity, a bottleneck in the flow of the process itself. When various departments are not seamlessly integrated as a single unit, they start working like silos. A lot of non-value-added work must be done just to get information and communication moving between the silos. For example, current sales information and finance is created separately and is updated by the account clerk at the end of each month from the sales reports. Or look at it this way. When you were younger, you played a game where one person whispers a statement into their friend's ear, and that friend forwards the message to the next person, and then so on. Then we check to see how accurate that message was at the other end of the chain, and how much information is actually lost or changed in the process. In business, this happens all too often in the form of lost information and tasks. Quality control is crucial to the success of any business. It can either make or break an organization. Good quality products and services build trust and lead to repeat business. But bad quality costs an organization money and drives that business away. Every week, we upload new videos between 5 and 10 minutes in length, where we will focus on the concepts and strategic implementation of Lean and Six Sigma. 
As a master black belt, I am passionate about quality. And if you are too, then click subscribe to be notified whenever we upload our next Lean Six Sigma video.